Hello all the Tiny Tacklers, thumbs up to you guys. Welcome to the Tiny Tacklers Super Hero online classes. Guys, if you have a Super Hero t-shirt, if you've got a mask, if you've got a cape, wear them if you want. Um, I don't have them here today, but I will bring them. I've got my Super Hero socks. Now everybody, are you ready for this amazing 11 week superhero course and this is just fun times here all the tiny tackles do you know that this is tiny and tiny loves going on on adventures with his friends and tiny loves carrying a rugby ball under his arm and have a thumbs up can i see your thumbs up yeah what do you know about a thumbs up a thumbs up means lots of good things it means it's a good job, it means that is awesome, it means I'm happy, it means come on everybody, come with me, let's go and have fun. So good job everybody, can I see your thumbs up? That's your Tiny Tacklers thumbs up, well done. Tiny Tacklers is all about Tiny going on adventures with his friends and Tiny loves going on adventures to go and explore dinosaurs, explore wild animals and then superheroes and space. Now we're gonna this time we're gonna do superheroes in space and we want you to come with us and we're gonna explore how all that superheroes with all their superpowers, how they move and what they can do. And we're gonna use a rugby ball and if you don't have a rugby ball, any ball, I've got a lot of different size rugby balls. I've got a round ball, even a bigger round ball. If you haven't got a ball, why don't you use your best favorite toy? Give it a cuddle and then just take that and you can play with your favorite toy as well. Pretend it's a ball or a superpower. Or you can have your toilet paper. Toilet paper can also work. Ask your mommy and daddy if you don't have a ball and you don't have a soft toy, but I'm sure you have, then you can always use a, a bit of toilet paper. Have those things ready. But you also need a water bottle and a water bottle filled up so you can drink some water because superheroes need some water as well to just get the energy going. You also need a good space where you can go. If it's in your dining room, or in your bedroom, or in your uh, lounge, make sure it's safe. Mommies and daddies will help you to make it nice and safe. You're ready to go. Let's go and explore with Tiny. Ready, steady, go! Okay, you are ready now, superheroes, Tiny Tackers. Have you got your mom and dad with you? Have you got someone to help you? Have you got safe space? Let's go then. Now, Tiny Tacklers, first thing we need to do is understand that superheroes got superpowers. Now, have you got a superpower? My superpower is to have fun. Tiny superpowers also to have fun and to be happy. So, what's your superpower? What is the coolest superpower you think one can, one can get? What is the coolest superpowers all the superheroes got? So let's go and explore. Are you ready? Now, have you got your ball or your soft toy or your toilet roll of toilet paper? Okay, everybody. Ready? Now, have you seen Superman? Superman has got a cape and he's got a big S in front of his chest. And he's very strong, but he's also fast. He can fly. Now, Superman has got this amazing ability to when he lands he can balance on one leg and he normally this is superman's super 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 pose he goes and stand he's got his arm here pretend you've got your ball on your arm pretend you've got your fist up like this and then you're gonna pick up one leg and this is how he like da, 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 da. so there you are can you hold that so what we're going to do is we're going to hold that for five seconds. If you're older, you're going to try and do that for 10 seconds. If you're even older, five to seven, then you're going to try and do it for 20 seconds. Are you ready? Now, 
Are you ready? This is a balancing superpower pose. Superman pose. Um, there. And then on one leg. And hold it there. And then think about all the superpowers you've got. Now five, four, three, two, one. If you got five seconds, great. If you didn't, doesn't matter. You try again. Let's go again. Remember, arm under there. This arm up first on one leg and then balance. And then see how many seconds you can go. If you can go for 20 seconds, great. Now, this is almost 10 seconds. And two feet. Now, you're going to change this over to the other hand. Okay? Now see how long you can do it this time. Super power, two feet together, arm under your there, holding to your ball, fist up, and then on your other leg. Balance, balance, balance. One, two, three, that's five seconds. Well done. If you are older, you can hold it for a long time. Okay, try and be balanced. If you're little, try it. If you fall over, start again. Arm there, arm there, one foot up, and then stand on one leg. That's it. That's a really cool superpower that he has. Superman, hold that pose and really look cool. All right, everybody, see how many times you can do that. If you can do it another time, change over the legs, hold it there, doo -doo -doo. and this is how you should look. Arm there, there you go, foot up. Can you see that? Great stuff. That is your first exercise. Now that was your first exercise. Now we're going to go exercise two where we get Superman to fly. Now make sure you've got a little bit of space. If you can't run somewhere or one direction, what I want you to do is go in one spot. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a ball you're going to run in the, on one spot or you're going to run somewhere where you've got a space. You're going to stop. So Superman on one spot if you've got a little space, hold it into it. And when I say stop, you land. And then you go into super power, uh, Superman pose and you hold that for as long as you can. And then I say go again, you go, you run. If you can run inside, go around and I say land. Two feet together, two feet together, and then Superman pose, one foot up and one leg. Change the legs if you can. Three, two, one, and then go again. Da -da -da, fly. And you know you can start flying like Superman. Here we go. Da -da -da, land. And then one leg. Or change it over. Run, run, run. Again, one spot. Land, one leg, da, da, da. good job, can you do that, keep doing that, now mommy and daddy can help you pause the video and then you go again, then they can tell you, run, 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 land, arm, there, leg up, look, my leg's up and I'm balancing, that's really cool, good balancing everybody, now keep doing that and then we'll see you after this little bit of a pause. Go for it. Who knows who Spider-Man is? Do you know what superpowers Spider-Man's got? Spider-Man is very intelligent, strong. He's very uh, good, has got very good coordination. Means he can move his hands and his legs in a good Good way, so he never falls over. But also, he's got very good reflexes. If something coming his way, he can catch it, or he can stop it. He's got good reflexes, so he's very agile. He, agile means he can move around with nobody catching him, and he can dip, dive, and he can run as fast. But he's also very fast. But the coolest thing about Spider-Man the spider, the spider ability that he's got, the spider sensibility. Now, spiders. What can spiders do? They can, they can. They've got webs. 
So they've got webbing, they can spin a web. So Spider-Man's got these webs in his wrists and he can use that webs for different things. Now, another thing that's very cool, Spider-Man can hold onto walls and he can stick to things like a spider. Now, what we're gonna do first, we're gonna stick to the wall. Very easy, okay? We're gonna find a bit of wall. You've got to find a bit of wall. This is my wall here. I'm going to go and sit back against the wall and I stick. I stick there. Now I hold that. For how long can you hold that? That stick there is like Spider-Man. You can stick there. If you can do it for five seconds, count to five. One, two, three, four, five. If you can do it for longer, ten. If you're old, there, five. Three and a half to five years old. Can you do 10 seconds? That's your challenge. Can you do 10 seconds Spider-Man hold? Great. Keep going. Yes. If you're older, three and a half or to seven, uh, sorry, five to seven year old. Can you do 20 seconds or more? Now, I've done now about 20 seconds and my legs are getting tired, but Spider-Man's never going to get tired and you got to try and do this. Can you do this? A few times, see if you can do 5 seconds, 10 seconds or 20 seconds. The older you are, the more you can do. Now, that is really good everybody. That's a good way of testing your superpowers. Now, pause this video and mommy and daddy will help you. And then you see how many seconds you can do and how many times you can do it. And then you come back. Big thumbs up. Keep going. Now, you know Spider-Man can stick to solid surfaces and, and to things. And you've done that sticking to the wall, sitting against the wall. Your legs were getting tired, but you stuck there. And that's a very, very good exercise and a very good superpower that you can do. Now, Spider-Man can climb up walls onto buildings. And we're going to pretend we're going to climb like Spider-Man. So... Make sure you've got a bit of space. And then make sure you, if you can see me, you are there. And then you're gonna make sure you get your arms down. And then you're gonna climb a little bit. Your leg, make sure your leg come to, to your elbow. You climb there, and then you climb there. And then if I turn around, this is how you climb. Climb there, climb there. And if I show you from this side, you're going to climb. So how many Spider-Man climbers can you do? Okay. Now, if you're good at this, this is very, very good for your shoulders. Getting stronger like Spider-Man. Good for this area where your stomach and your back is. And good for your legs. Now keep on climbing. Remember, bring your arm, your, your knee to your elbow. And then you keep climbing like Spider-Man. See how many you can do. Great job, everybody. Well done, tiny tackless Spider-Man, you know, climbing. Now, have you ever heard of Iron Man? Now, Iron Man is very cool. He's got this amazing, cool uh, power suit. And this power suit's got jets and his feet and it can he can fly supersonically and we do know what supersonic means it means he can fly really fast into the air now we're gonna do some of some of his flying where we rocket launch ourselves into the air so we're gonna jump into the air and see if we can launch ourselves like iron man now iron man jumps is very very important so we get strong in our legs superheroes now have you seen also that um, Iron Man is very, very clever? Now, if you're clever, you're going to do this really well. You're going to look at what I'm going to show you. Okay, now we're going to rocket launch ourselves. So you're going to make sure your feet are together. Can you see my feet? My feet are together. And make sure your knees are there, ready to go. And then you're going to hold your ball. Pretend this is your part of your rocket. And then you're going to jump 
straight up. Okay, look, you bend your knees a little bit, your feet together, your back's nice and straight. You bend your knees a little bit and you go straight up. And then, are you ready? We're gonna do five rocket launches. I'm gonna say, and go, and you go jump. And then I go say, and two, go, and jump. All right, are you ready? Remember, hold your ball and all your fingers on the ball, and that, oh, your soft toy. Now, here we go. Bend your knees a little bit, feet together, and now, good jump. Keep that jumping going. Now, Iron Man jumps. Are you ready? On two, two, jump, and three, jump, and four, jump, as high as you can, and five, jump. If you've done five, brilliant. Now, can we do five more, but see how high you can jump. And when you go straight up, you land back on your feet together. Right? If, when you land, you land with your feet together. Okay? Not together like that, but I mean in a line. So you're not balanced. You're not off balance. Okay? Feet together at the same time. Landing. So big jump and land. Do five more. If you three and a half to five years old, can you do 10 big jumps straight up in the air where you rocket launch like Iron Man and go on a supersonic flight? If you're five to seven, can you do 10, 10 to 20? See how many you can do. Are you ready? Pause the video and go for it. Let's go, Iron Man. Wow, amazing power jumps by Iron Man and all you tiny tacklers. Really good. Now, are you ready to, for the next superhero? This superhero, can you tell me what color he is? His name is the Hulk, the Incredible Hulk. This big, big superhero. Big muscles, big legs, big hands, big feet. What color is he? Do I hear he? green? Green, yes. Do you know what kind of shorts does he wear? He's got shorts, he's got no shirt. Is it red? No, not red. Purple, yes, purple. Well done everybody. Now, he is a very clever guy, super intelligent. Very clever, but very strong, very durable. Durable is, he is so strong and things can't really break him. But he's also very, very, very strong in terms of making sure things tremble around him or shakes. When he walk and he walk, everything around him shakes and tremble. That's how strong he is. Now, the Incredible Hulk can go for a long time as well. He keeps on going. He has always got energy and I wanna see you keep going. So we're gonna stomp and let everything around us tr tremble and shake. Now, how we do it, we're gonna pick up our knees nice and high. So nice and high, we're gonna have our ball in our hands like that. We're gonna pick up our knees nice and high and then we're gonna stomp. Really hard stomps. Can you do that? Let's see, show me. Yes. And that is big, that's it. Now, how many stomps can you do? You can walk around in your space and doing stomps, or you can stand on one spot and do it. But remember, you're gonna pick up your knees nice and high and then stomp down. Ready? Let's do it for 10 seconds. If you're all there, go for 20 seconds. If you're all there five to seven, go for 30 seconds. All right? You can pause the video in a second, but this is just, let's the first five seconds. Ready? Steady, go. Come on. Shake it, big storms. There you go. Make sure everybody hears and everything shakes. That's five seconds. That's five seconds, everybody. Now, go and have a go. Again, stomp like the Hulk. Really green, big superhero. And see you in the next one. Now, let's move on to the next superhero. And I'm sure you know this guy. He's got this bla big black cape. Yes, Batman. If you haven't heard of Batman, he is very cool. Very, very clever as well. He's super genius. 
What does that mean? I gave you the clue already. What does super genius mean? Ask your mommy and daddy. Let me know. But Batman, what a man. Now Batman is very cool. He, he is strong. He can fight off baddies. He can stop them with all his different equipment. But one of the coolest things about Batman is he's got this cool car called the Batmobile. Now the Batmobile is really fast. It can go fast and then it can stop. All of a sudden in its tracks, stop like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend. You're going to take your, your super, um, sorry, you're going to take your soft toy or you're going to take your ball. And this is your ball, is your steering wheel for the Batmobile. And the Batmobile is fast. And what we're going to do, if you haven't got a lot of space, you're going to be on one spot and you go fast. We're going to be fast in our Batmobile. You're going to drive it, keep your hands in front of you, and you're going to go fast. Fast like this. And we're going to go fast, high knees or quick feet as you can. And if you've got a bit of space, you can run and you can stop, turn and run the other way. Stop, turn, run the other way. Or you can just go in one spot and when I say stop, you turn and you go the other way. Stop. All right. If you can have a bit of space and you can stop, run a little bit and stop. Okay. Let's have a look. Get in Batmobile. Close that door. Hold on to the steering wheel. Are you ready? Remember, Batmobile is really fast. Are you ready? Steady. Go! Quick feet! And stop! And turn! And go again! If you have to be on one spot, go fast in your one spot. And fast again, stop! And go again. Fast, 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 fast! Five seconds! Stop! Good. If you're older, try and do ten seconds fast as you can and stop. And do that five times. If you're even all the five to seven, you can try 20 seconds and a go. Stop. Or do five seconds, stop, turn, five seconds, stop, turn, five seconds, till you get to 20 seconds. Do that as many times as you can. Now, being fast is one of the big superpowers for most of all the superheroes. So now you gotta make sure you make your feet quite fast and make sure they keep going fast. Now pause the video and have a go. See you on the other side. That Batmobile is really fast. I hope you had fun with that. If you need to take time to have some water, you can do that anytime. But this is the last exercise in the movement and exercises that we do. Really, really important last one before we have a water, long water break. Now, Spider-Man, we know, can stick to walls, climb up walls, stick to any solid surface. Now, this is where Spider-Man is strong as well. Spider-Man can hold against a wall or an area for a long time. And I want you now to do your Spider-Man hold, okay? I'm gonna show you this just Make sure you've got space. The Spider-Man hold for the last exercise. Now make sure you've got space. Now, knees on the floor, hands on the floor, and then pick up your knees, and then spread your feet nice and wide. And if you can, spread your hands even wider, hold it there, and hold it there for as long as you can. If you can't spread it that far, if you're little, just keep it there. If you can do three to five seconds, really good. If you're three and a half years old, four years old, five years old, can you go a bit wider? You go a bit wider, and then you go and try and do it for five to ten seconds. If you are five to seven years old, go a bit wider, your feet as well, and then hold it there for 20 seconds if you can, 10 to 20, and then keep counting. And if you can do that three or four times, that's brilliant. I, my arms are shaking, trying to be the Spider-Man hold. Good. 
really good everybody now pause the video have a go see um, how long you can hold it for and then once you're done with that can you give yourself a big high five can your mommy and daddy give you a high five I've got nobody here but big DJ the teddy bear DJ high five Now you've got your water break done and you have your energy back. All superheroes need the energy and water is a good way of doing it. Now we're going to go into our skill where we learn how to do something that is really cool with a ball. Okay, so this skill is something that Spider-Man is really good at. Spider-Man, remember that he's got webs that he shoots from his wrists so his web shooters now we're going to pretend to be spider-man and we're going to pretend to shoot the ball to a target the target can be your mommy and daddy's hands catching it or you can be taking a bucket like this one and you can throw it to a bucket you can put the bucket or even a, a cushion just find a target mommy and daddy can help you and then you can throw it, you can shoot the ball to the target. So you can shoot the ball to the target. But what I want you to do is this is how we're going to do it. Now Spider-Man, for extra power, we're going to touch our knees. We're going to keep our backs nice and straight. Touch our knees and then we're going to throw. We're going to throw it so we, it looks like we're shooting our spider webs. Now, very important, you've got to look where you want to throw so look where the target is if i want to throw it to you i'm going to look to your hands if i want to throw it to the bucket i'm going to look to the bucket what i want you to also know make sure you've got all your fingers on the ball like this your thumbs sort of together and all your fingers are spread over the ball if your fingers are spread that's a good hold so that's a good spider-man hold good superhero hold to make a good throw good throw but also what I want you to do is make sure you look so make sure you look look where you're going touch your knees and throw the reason we touch your knees is extra power and we throw it from down here up make sure your hand goes there and if I throw it that way my hands are gonna go that way if I throw up my hands are gonna go up but I want to throw to my target there so touch your knees and throw I'm going to try and throw it into the bucket. Can you see? I'm going to touch my knees and I'm going to throw it. And I missed it because my hands went over. Now, try that again. Look, remember, supervision eyes from your superpowers. Look, hands to the bucket. Well done. Touch your knees and throw. Now, if you, this is your challenge. If you are 18 months, to three and a half years old, so little, then you're gonna try and throw it one to three times to mommy and daddy or to your target. Mommy and daddy will help you. If you're three and a half to five years old, you're gonna try and throw it five times in a row to the target in your bucket or to a target which you can set your little pillow or anything that you think that you can throw to or your mommy and daddy's hands. Or whoever helps you if you're five to seven can you do ten throws in a row you can practice this practice this all week but try and do ten throws but remember you look you touch your knees and you push your hands like shooters web shooters the web shooters from spider-man will go so you're gonna shoot the ball that way but make sure your fingers all your ten fingers are on the ball for extra power from your knees there Okay, everybody, that was your first session here with Tiny Tactics Superheroes. Hope you're going to enjoy it. If you do something cool, you can send us your video or you can send us a message saying, I did my three or ten or this is a cool superhero. But also, I'm going to ask you next time if you know what genius means. Genius. 
what is a genius one of the superpowers of many superheroes well tiny tactics you and your family have fun with this session remember thumbs up and pause your video if you need to just go over things and there show me your thumbs up now there's a song that we sing at Tiny Tackless and I want you to learn it and you can sing a song so with me, the song with me after every session. Now I need your thumbs in and it goes like this. We are Tiny Tacklers, you and me, we are Tiny Tacklers family. Tiny Tacklers. Now Tiny Tacklers you bring your thumbs up and you go Tiny Tacklers. And you have a big smile. One thing that I forgot to tell you is one thing you always have to bring is a big smile to the classes and having lots of fun. So here we go. We are Tiny Tacklers, you and me. We are Tiny Tacklers family. Tiny Tacklers again. Tiny Tacklers. You have fun. See you next time.